Okay, so this is the second part of the tutorial. Uh, welcome. And in this one, uh, I will discuss some of the tools that I use, the software, uh, the, the drawing and the recording software, of course. You can skip this one as well if you uh, know how to use them, but I'd advise watching it. It may feature some uh, tips and tricks that might be useful for you. So uh, let's dive in. So this is the screen for the menu of the recording software. Uh, I'm using the full screen mode right now to show you everything that goes on, even the stuff behind the scenes. And usually I use custom mode, 1280 over 720 are the standard HD dimensions. And plus, when you use uh, this custom mode, then you can place your tools somewhere on an area that's not being recorded so that you can pick colors and pick tools and actually work right? You need free areas. Again, before I turn this off or before I, yeah, I advise checking that audio is on. Otherwise, you will experience the pain of <clears throat> not, not recording your uh, voice and wasting your energy on nothing. So uh, anyway, now, these are the standard colors that Khan Academy uses, or so I've been told, and you can copy them if you'd like. You can press pause right now and use a color picking tool. It's, uh, it's pretty easy. And the area that I record is usually something like this. Wait, so let me, let me put this in its place. So this is the area that I record approximately. And as you can see, everything's outside this area. Uh, the scroll bars, the toolbars, everything. By the way, the scroll bars are not default. So let me go back to not full screen. So uh, if you if you wish to use the scroll bars, and I, I advise using them because Cell always uses them and uh, they help you move the canvas more uh, seamlessly. You go to Edit, then Preferences, then Canvas, and Enable Canvas Scroll Bars. It took me uh, shamefully a lot of time to find this. So that's why I'm showing it to you. Okay, now as I've mentioned, they help you move the canvas, but you can also move the canvas using this tool. You press and hold space and this guy pops up. And if you press on the edge, it lets you move the canvas. If you press on the magnifying glass, it helps you zoom. Now, um, by the way, if you want to return to normal, you can press Control, Alt and zero or corresponding keys on Mac MacBook. Um, and it returns to normal, but then if you go full screen, uh, see there is still some space that's not filled, so you can do Control alt 0 again and it, it'll fill, its, fill this space as well. So let me zoom out. So this is the size and ratio, I mean size and dimensions of the canvas that I use, and I've chosen this particular size uh, and ratio because, let me just show you image, canvas size, and here are the dimensions and you can change them if you'd like. And I've chosen this because sometimes you need a lot of space and usually when you need a lot of space, you go down, you don't go right. So sometimes, let me go out. Uh, sometimes you go down because you need more space. And then there are other times when simply a single equation is too long. So you need to go a bit to the right. So I've given myself so a bit more space. I could have just done a way bigger canvas and I have been using 6000 over 6000 I think but then some of the functionality got slower because of my computer so I've I've stopped using a huge canvas I've uh, I've compromised okay uh, and finally for the tools let me let me set things up again um, okay I'll, I'll bring this down so we can see so these are the brushes that I use uh, these two brushes uh, this is a chisel tip pen and it helps me write better so hi i'm george so i think this is better than this i'm not doing it on purpose i think this is actually worse maybe it's not worse right here but the experience has shown that it's worse for me so i don't use the ballpoint pen i use the chisel tip pen and this brush uh, acts <clears throat> acts as an eraser for me uh, i press alt and pick a color of the background and delete it so that's that's easier for me and uh, i switch between these two using the shortcut s so you can press s and it will switch between the final i mean the last two 
uh, it'll switch between the brushes that you have uh, used, uh, the last two brushes. I, I can't construct a simple sentence. So anyway, yeah, so this is a nice short shortcut and it'll uh, help you avoid pressing this button and then working with <clears throat> working with this uh, toolbar while recording the video. Um, also, you can erase stuff using the select tool. You can, so this pops up, it lets you select different shapes. And uh, I, I also have this placed elsewhere um, outside the recording area. So I can select this area and then press delete on my keyboard and it's del deleted, but then I have to press outside the rectangles to make it disappear. Uh, this select tool also helps me uh, copy, for example, or cut, like move uh, anything I want. So now I've tried to cut this, but it didn't work. Why didn't it work? Well, when I copy it, when I copy this, it's being copied. When I paste it, it's pasted, and I can move this around. But the moment I place it somewhere, it becomes a new layer. So because this is the new layer, now I'm working on this layer. So I cannot actually affect the previous writing. So I can, of course, draw over it, but this red thing is now drawn on a separate new layer. If I delete this layer, this previous one remains. So that's why I couldn't copy it before. So you need to pay attention. For example, when you have something and you want to copy it again and again and again, then you have to pay, well, you, you can either always paste it uh, cons uh, consecutively, or if you want to affect it in a different way, you need to pay attention to the um, layer, to uh, which layer you, you're using. So this layer, the one I've selected right now, is the first one, and this is the new one for Hi, I'm George, the copied version. So if I, if I delete this, the copied version simply goes away. So also, um, even though it's easy to find, I think it's worth mentioning, uh, this tool is very useful. It helps you draw shapes easily. So lines, rectangles, and uh, ellipses. This is really, really useful in a lot of videos. So I'll just mention it, why not? So anyway, I think this is it for, um, mostly for the tools. I will still mention them in the final video. So if I missed something, it won't be a problem. And um, yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next and I think final video.